how to install mods for the game my winter car or mwc so first you want to open up your browser and then head to nexusmods.com slash my winter car or you can search for it when you enter the site you can search my winter car here and then it will take you to the uh, page where you can find all the available mods and first you will need to make an account on this website and sign into your account to be able to download um, any of the available mods right here so for example from the available mods list i'm going to show you how to install a few of these mods so for example the new optimization plugin and you can install some save um, game files which will give you a, a head start for example this one here which saves all the engine parts or you can use this one to get a save file with rivet gt and a bunch of other um, save files for example this one which gives you a head start and i'm going to try this one as well now to download these mods first you want to go to the mod page and then click on files and from here click on manual download and make sure you're signed in to be able to download this click on slow download and wait for it to finish the countdown and then it should download a zip or dot rar file which you can save to your desktop and some of the mods will require bipinex so if you go to the mod page you should read the description and it should tell you at the bottom here that you will need to download specific versions of Bipinex for this to work properly. And to find the Bipinex version, you can simply look for it. So you can select the whole Bipinex and the version, right click and search for Google, and then click on the first GitHub link. And you should find the exact version um, that is recommended from the mod. And then you can scroll down and click on download make sure you select the operating system you have so for example windows 64 this one and to download the mod file you can go back to files manual download and then click on download and from here click on slow download and you can also keep downloading other mods that you want to use the same way and I've just finished downloading everything and I've placed it in this folder here, all the zip files. Now you want to start by um, extracting the bipinex to a bipinex folder. And then from this folder you want to copy everything. And then open up Steam. And right click on the game, manage and browse local files. And this should open up the... Um, installation path where the game is installed and then you want to paste everything you copied from bipinex here next you want to run the game once so you can open up steam again and launch the game and once you launch it for the first time you want to click on quit just to initialize the bipinex now once bipinex is initialized you should find um, other folders in here and if bipinex is um, crashing or making the game um, not starting up so you can basically go back to the github page and instead download the 86 version and try it it should um, work and fix the issue now let's get to um, the mods and to use the um, optimization plugin from here first you want to download the zip and extract it to a folder like this and then open up the folder and open up bipinex and copy everything from here and then paste it inside the bipinex folder where the game is installed and you should do the same for um, all the mods that require bipinex to be installed um, in the game directory and to use the mods that are save files that give you um, ready cars and stuff like that can basically extract the um, zip files to the same two folders and once you extract them to folders and you open the folder it should tell you how to install them there is a readme file with instructions and to apply it um, to apply the saves you will need to um, back up your current saves if you want to recover them later 
and to access your current saves you want to right click on the start button click on run and here you want to type local app data or just app data and then percentage sign and press ok this should open up this folder now you want to go back to the update by clicking update here and then you want to go to local low and then amis tech which is this folder and then you should find my winter car folder you can basically copy this one and save it somewhere else safe so for example in desktop paste it here and then you can call it um save backup or something like that and then when you want to recover you can just remove this part which is the one i added now and then go back to this folder here update a local low amis tech and then paste the folder here and replace everything or overwrite everything to apply your saves or recover them back now to use the saves we've downloaded from the mods website you can basically go to my winter car you can copy the entire folder or just go inside and copy these text files for the saves and then you can go back to the update folder enter here and replace everything can also do the same for the other save files so for example this one here the best release it gives you also a save file of everything and then go to the update local low and my winter car paste everything here and replace while the game is closed and once you've applied everything you can close this and then close everything and open up steam and launch the game from here and i'm gonna run it in windowed mode and when the game is launched you can click on continue and if the game is crashing whenever you press i understand at the beginning you simply need to go back to the um, installation folder of the game right click on it manage browse local files and make sure to right click and run the game as admin that should fix the crash when you press the I understand button at the beginning. And once you press continue, you should find the save ready to use. Along with the mods applied with the Bepinex loader. You can also use mods to um, change the player like stuff and the world environment. Like this one right here. So you can click on player maker globals and you can modify the day and the time and a bunch of other settings from here. You can turn an on and off a bunch of other features as well. You can also search for stuff by name and you can go to stuff. You can change the time rotation hour and you can change the RPM for vehicles and a bunch of other settings. And that's pretty much it for this video. Subscribe if you found this helpful and see you on the next one.